fruits and vegetables, the fruits like pineapples, would be on the menu if you're training to be a bodybuilder, don't right? you think? Especially right now as they're gearing down towards competition this weekend. Right, Angie? I think it's, yes. I think it's all water and egg whites for the next... <laughs> We're going to find out, actually. Yeah, it's really interesting curious. to know. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get into that. What, what they're actually eating, like, two days before, the day before, and how they actually take it down to uh, right before a competition. Of course, we are at Freeform Fitness this morning. We're at the Canada location. We've been talking about the uh, Ottawa championships that are happening this weekend at De La Salle High School. And uh, we saw some ladies earlier in uh, bikinis, and then we saw some men in their Speedos for bodybuilding. Now we're back to some ladies, and we're going to talk about the figure uh, competition. Uh, so, Chelsea, what, is, what do they mean by figure? What's the difference between figure and bikini? So, figure, they're looking for more muscle mass, uh, not as much as women bodybuilding, so sort of the one that's in the middle of the three categories, and they're looking for symmetry, and they want more leanness. They want to see separation of the muscle. Okay. So, what does it take for this, for figure? What does it take? Um, extreme commitment, you know, yeah. dedication. I'd say the mindset is probably the biggest part. Mm -hmm. um, and and then, uh, well, obviously nutrition is probably 80% of the battle, I would say, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And the training, yeah, the training is kind of the easy part because um, we all enjoy doing it. I yeah, think. it's a life, it's way of yeah, life. Yeah. It's not a chore, it's Absolutely. just what you do every day. Yeah. Uh, no, but it's nice to see for the for your clients, the competitors, how there is those stages that you can challenge yourself and progress to the next level, whether you just want to do bikini, whether you're going to step it up a little bit, you figure that right. really ramp it up and do bodybuilding, you can really challenge yourself no matter what your goals are. That's right. And depending on your body type too, you might be better suited to one than the other. Yeah. Now you've competed in figure. Yes. Uh, now, what, you know, based on your experience being in the competition, what was that like? Um, the first time is a little nerve-wracking, and you improve a lot from the first time to the second time. Yeah. Um, but some people are naturals the first time, but that's that's pretty rare. Yeah. But it's just, uh, it's even nerve-wracking. Like, I competed my fifth or sixth time a couple months ago, and it was still nerve-wracking. Yeah. <laughs> because you're not just working out in nutrition, you're going to posing classes. Like, there's like all these, all sorts of things that come into this arena. Oh, yes. It takes up a lot of your schedule, and you pretty much become antisocial at some points. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, you're all about the fitness. Okay, so let's talk to the ladies. Hi, what's your name? Melissa. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your backstory when you started working out when you got to this point. I started working out in 2007 mm -hmm. and um, I love lifting weights and this just seemed like a natural progression to try some competitions and see where it takes me. And have you competed before? Yes, this yeah. is my third show. Okay, and how's it been going for you? Good. Yeah, I enjoy each time and I learn something new each time, so yeah, it's good. Good. And how do you feel this time? You look awesome. How do you feel going in? Um, good. Yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah. So what are you eating? Like, what what is what is the lifestyle for you like right now? Uh, meat and vegetables. Yeah. And uh, egg whites. Yeah. And nothing exciting, you know, just <laughs> the same thing day in and day out. About it. <laughs> yeah. And what's your name? Stephanie. Okay. So Stephanie, tell us a bit about your story. I started working out about seven years ago because I had to train to be a paramedic where you have to lift 220 pounds. Oh, so you had a different kind of purpose than yeah. I. Yeah, I, start, I started power lifting and now progress to figure. Yeah. And so have you competed before as well? No, this is going to be my first time. First time? So how do you feel going in then? So far so good. It's actually been pretty easy for me so far. So. Yeah. We'll see how the next few days go. Yeah. So and so, what about you? Like leading it, like a couple days out from competition. What are you doing? How are you ramping things up? Well, it's still a learning process for me, but lots of chicken, lots of greens, and lots of water. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. fantastic. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. It must be. You guys must be so proud to see all of your clients get results like this, but to the point where you know they're getting up and showing themselves off. It's not just knowing that you've created, you know, a, a, a more healthy lifestyle for yourself, but you're out there, you know, putting oh. yourself on stage. I definitely, I find it more fun to watch clients compete. I get more excited than yeah. watching myself compete, for sure. And, yeah. and at the same point, it's even more nerve-wracking when yeah. you're in the crowd and you're the coach and you see yeah. When it's when it's your athletes that you've trained, oh, it's like so stressful. It's like your parents, and like they're uh, all your kids, right? Yeah, you're just you you just all. hope that they do really well, you know? yeah. And uh, but you never know who shows up at these shows, so right, yeah, right. Well, it just goes to show you. I mean, they're getting results, amazing results here, clients uh, here at Freeform Fitness. And uh, so just to recap, De La Salle, uh, high school this weekend on Saturday, and people can come out uh, to the show in the evening. Yep, evening shows. There's a six 
6.30. Yeah. And we have a great MC. Yay! <laughs> I'll be there. I get to do that. I get to see all of these people perform and do their thing on stage. I'm so excited for that. Uh, so we're going to have more details. And coming up, we're going to talk about that, about how you get there. Uh, it's the account accountability side of things. It's the nutrition, which is a huge part of it. And we're going to talk about uh, how that plays into all of this as well. Matt, pre-perfect. This will be right back.